A pedal tone in music is the idea of having a constant note or group of notes that run underneath the melody and chords. So while this usually refers to a long sustained bass note underneath the chord changes, the basic idea can be applied to guitar licks as well, where we can repeatedly return to a specific note while the melody moves around above or below it. So we're going to walk through a series of licks that explore different approaches to this idea. With this first lick, the pedal pattern is handled by the first two fingers. So they are constantly doing a series of pull-offs and hammer-ons underneath. And then the third and the fourth fingers handle the upper notes. So only the first two fingers handle the repeated notes at the bottom, and then only the third and fourth fingers handle the notes at the top. And the best way to pick this is with, um, with hybrid picking. So you're always picking the third string notes, and then plucking the notes on the second and first strings. There's a lot of string skipping if you try to do this only with your pick, so hybrid picking, I believe, is the best way to go. This next lick basically outlines an A7 bar chord. So you can just hold down these notes here, like you're holding the bar chord, and then your third finger is the one that moves across those changing notes below. And of course, the best way to pick this is with hybrid picking, and that's a theme that you'll notice in a lot of these pedal types of licks is that because there's so much string skipping, picking the bottom note in the pattern and then plucking the upper notes in the pattern is going to be the easiest way to keep track of those fast string changes. This lick is a bit of a tricky pattern, so we're doing a sequence of hammer-ons and pull-offs on the top and that's our repeating pedal idea and then we're holding down the changing melody notes with the right hand underneath all of that. So the tricky thing about this is you need to move a little bit ahead of the notes with your right hand to make sure that you're on that fret by the time the pull-offs happen. So if you change when you need to play that note, you're going to be a little bit late. So you got to get there ahead of time. And that's the hard thing about this. And of course, keeping a steady tempo with the left hand is really important to keeping this together. Otherwise, it's a very easy lick to rush and then it just snowballs out of control. So be careful with that with your timing. This lick is in the style of something that Eric Johnson might do, where our pedal tone is on top and then the melody notes change underneath. And so hybrid picking is the way to go. Uh, I find it best to use my ring finger for the top note to make sure I've got enough room while picking the lower notes. And we are basically going down an A major shape up here past the 12th fret. And then we go up the notes of a B minor shape. So basically, do an A major and then B minor. And of course, you can change those chord qualities depending on what mode you're playing in, but that's the basic idea of what we're doing here. And then the pedal tone on top, that 12th fret, is constantly playing in between those notes. <laughs> 